Opposition leader Juan Guaido returned to his country today, risking arrest for violating a travel ban in his bid to oust embattled leader Nicolás Maduro. Guaido was met with crowds of chanting supporters and several European diplomats when he touched down at the airport in Caracas. Aquí está su presidente encargado de Venezuela. Juan Guaido assured his supporters their president is back. He urged them to take to the streets in a show of strength and determination against Nicolás Maduro and his hold on power. Despite threats, violence, and even massacres by the Maduro regime, I ask the people of Venezuela, is there even a hint of fear? The crowd yelled, no, they are not afraid. At one point, Guaido climbed a scaffolding to see more of the crowd. He called on them to flood the streets without fear of retaliation from Maduro and his supporters. We have all been threatened with prison and even with death. But I will tell you this, we will not be stopped by threats and repression because we are more united than ever. Guaido arrived at the Caracas airport Monday afternoon after defying a travel ban and visiting several South American countries who officially recognize him as the legitimate president of Venezuela. While abroad, he met with hundreds of Venezuelans forced to leave the country to escape skyrocketing inflation, food shortages and political turmoil. To the Venezuelans who have been forced to move to places like Argentina, Brazil, Bolivia, Colombia, Paraguay, and Ecuador, I want you all to know that you are Venezuelans with full rights and privileges no matter where you live. We await your return to your homeland. Now, most Western countries and regional neighbors now recognize Guaido as Venezuela's leader and have been working with him to bring aid into the country. Joining us now from Caracas is CNN's Patrick Ottman. Patrick, good to see you. So tell us a little bit about your day there today. Well, we got there to the rally site very early this morning, uh, earlier than many of the thousands of people have actually showed up. And, and throughout the morning, you started seeing people arriving. And then the hours went by, and there were thousands, if not tens of thousands of people there, but there was no Juan Waido. And uh, occasionally, the organizers get on the loudspeakers and say, no, he's coming, he's coming. We didn't know how, uh, no one really knew how he was going to get to that rally site, if he was going to be snuck across the border, uh, if he was going to be flown in uh, on a private jet somehow and then word came that he'd actually arrived on a commercial airliner essentially walking through the front door arriving in uh, the Caracas airport he was escorted by several European dip diplomats who used their diplomatic immunity to get him out to the street but we never saw anyone trying to block him arrest him uh, impede him and then uh, he joined a motorcade and you could see these amazing images of him uh, with a Venezuelan flag uh, hurtling down uh, avenues in Caracas to the rally site and when he showed up there uh, of course the crowd that had been waiting for for hours in the sun just lost it and there was a tremendous amount of applause and celebration. Patrick Guaido was defiant when he addressed that crowd or urging them to take to the streets. Does that mean we should expect more uh, more demonstrations in Venezuela by the opposition? He's called for a protest on Saturday, and that makes a certain degree of sense. You know, remember, it's carnival right now, uh, today and tomorrow, so a lot of people are not in the city. That's perhaps why the crowd uh, this morning was smaller than many expected. I think, uh, as well, uh, he just wants to have time uh, to plan further actions, but there's no sign that Juan Guaido is backing down. And, of course, there are no guarantees that the government couldn't arrest him at any time. That happens a lot here, where the government arrests and releases and re-arrests uh, opposition figures just to show uh, their power. So uh, Juan Guaido is home. Uh, he's not necessarily safe. Remember, this government here thinks uh, that he has illegally declared himself president and that he has broken uh, Venezuelan law and that uh, he's come close to uh, encouraging the United States to carry out military action here. So uh, these two men who both consider themselves to be president of the same country, Venezuela, Juan Guaido and Nicolas Maduro are on a collision course and uh, only one at the end of the day will remain remain as president of Venezuela, and it's anyone's guess uh, who comes out on top of this. Yeah, and the world is watching, waiting to see what happens. Uh, Patrick Oppmann reporting live from uh, Caracas. Patrick, thank you very much.